Picture this, a dimly lit room, the faint glow of a vintage television screen casting shadows across eager faces. It's a quiet evening, and you find yourself seated, perhaps on a worn-out couch or an old armchair, lost in the mesmerizing world of black and white cinema. The year is 1948, and you're about to embark on a cinematic journey like no other, your very first encounter with the captivating movie, They Live By Night. As the opening credits roll, the hauntingly beautiful soundtrack fills the room, setting the stage for a story that will leave an indelible mark on your memory. The characters, young and star-crossed, draw you into their world of love and crime, making you an unwitting accomplice to their daring escapades. And then, there it is, that one scene that etches itself into your consciousness forever. It might be the stolen glances between the protagonists, the tension of a heist gone awry, or the heart-pounding getaway through winding roads and moonlit fields. Whatever it is, it lingers, leaving you with a cinematic memory to cherish. Now, as we delve deeper into the annals of this film, Let's uncover some random facts that illuminate the brilliance behind They Live By Night. Prepare to be amazed by the hidden gems that make this classic a timeless masterpiece. They Live By Night, directed by Nicholas Ray in 1948, is a classic film noir that follows the tragic love story of two young fugitives, Bowie and Kichi, played by Farley Granger and Kathy O'Donnell. The film is based on Edward Anderson's novel Thieves Like Us and is known for its raw, and poignant portrayal of doomed romance amid a criminal backdrop. Bowie and Keech's characters are iconic for their youthful innocence, and a desperate desire for a normal life in a world tainted by crime. The movie's unique style lies in its blend of romanticism and gritty realism, a hallmark of Nicholas Ray's directorial approach. The film's hauntingly atmospheric cinematography and emotionally charged performances make it a standout in the film noir genre. They Live By Night has left an indelible mark on popular culture, inspiring later films like Arthur Penn's Bonnie and Clyde. Its exploration of young love and criminality continues to resonate with audiences, reminding us of the enduring appeal of tragic love stories set against the backdrop of society's darker aspects. This cinematic gem remains a testament to the power of storytelling and visual artistry in the world of cinema. In a twist of cinematic fate, the 1948 film They Live By Night made its debut across the Atlantic before gracing American screens, offering British audiences an early glimpse into the tale of love and crime. The film, directed by Nicholas Ray, starred Farley Granger as Bowie, a young fugitive with a hurt leg. Interestingly, during the course of shooting, life imitated art as Granger suffered an actual leg injury, necessitating his transport to a hospital, a real-life drama echoing the film's themes of risk and danger. They Live By Night also shares a remarkable resemblance with Joseph H. Lewis Gun Crazy, as both films feature a daring bank robbery scene filmed from inside a car. This similarity showcases the innovative storytelling techniques of the era, where directors experimented with new ways to immerse audiences in the heart-pounding action of their narratives. As the film continues to captivate audiences with its gripping plot and unexpected twists, these behind-the-scenes anecdotes add an intriguing layer to its legacy. Whether by fate or design, They Live By Night continues to shine as a classic in the annals of cinema, offering a glimpse into the magic and sometimes perilous reality of filmmaking. So, next time you watch this 1948 gem, remember the story behind the story, where art and life intersected in unexpected ways. In 1948, the silver screen witnessed the birth of a cinematic classic that would go on to leave an indelible mark on the film industry. They Live By Night, directed by Nicholas Ray, marked a significant milestone not just as a riveting crime drama, but also as the film that introduced the world to Ray's directorial prowess. While They Live By Night boasts a compelling narrative and stellar performances by its cast, one intriguing facet of its production history lies in the casting of Kathy O'Donnell as Kichi, the female lead. Farley Granger, who played the film's protagonist Bowie, personally recommended O'Donnell for the role. This recommendation, coming from a fellow actor, speaks volumes about the chemistry and on-screen synergy that these two talented performers brought to the film. It's a testament to the collaborative spirit of the movie-making process. But They Live By Night wasn't just remarkable for its casting choices. It also pushed the boundaries of cinematography for its time. 
The film's opening action sequence, captured with a helicopter camera mounted on a gyro-stabilized mount, was groundbreaking. In 1948, aerial helicopter photography was far from commonplace in the film industry. While helicopters had been used for aerial views and landscapes, this film dared to capture an action scene from the sky. The challenge, keeping the actors in focus while soaring above. It took four takes to get it right, with the second take ultimately making the cut. This audacious approach to filmmaking showcased Nicholas Ray's innovative vision, setting the stage for his illustrious career. They Live by Night not only marked Ray's first directing credit, but also laid the foundation for his future contributions to cinema. In the realm of film history, They Live by Night stands as a testament to the talent and vision of its director, Nicholas Ray, and the chemistry of its lead actors, Farley Granger and Kathy O'Donnell. It boldly embraced new cinematic techniques, paving the way for the future of action sequences in film. As we look back on this 1948 masterpiece, we're reminded of the enduring impact it had on the art of filmmaking. This is They Live by Night, a film that defied convention and left an indelible mark on the silver screen. In 1948, amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, a film emerged that would later gain cult status, They Live by Night. This crime drama flick, directed by Nicholas Ray, initially struggled to find its footing in the bustling world of cinema. One intriguing fact surrounding this movie is how it narrowly escaped obscurity, almost vanishing into the annals of forgotten films. Intriguingly, They Live by Night found itself on the wrong side of the ledger when it was first released in the USA, hemorrhaging a staggering $445,000 during its initial run. Despite the remarkable talents of its cast and crew, including director Nicholas Ray and stars Farley Granger and Kathy O'Donnell, the film faced an uphill battle at the box office. This financial setback, however, did not dim the cinematic potential that would eventually shine through. But what's even more fascinating is the story behind the casting. Robert Mitchum, a burgeoning star at the time, yearned for a role in They Live by Night. He went to great lengths, even altering his appearance by cutting and dyeing his hair black, all to embody the character of Chickamaw. However, his quest was thwarted. The reason? Mitchum had recently received an Oscar nomination and was deemed too illustrious for a supporting role. This intriguing twist of fate led to the casting of Farley Granger, setting the wheels in motion for a different cinematic legacy. Perhaps the most compelling twist in the tale of They Live by Night is its tumultuous journey to the silver screen. The film was completed in 1947 but faced uncertainty under the new management of RKO Pictures. Studio politics and hesitation from studio boss Howard Hughes kept the movie in limbo, collecting dust on the shelf. Fearful that the film might never see the light of day, former RKO production chief Dor Sherry eventually paired Granger and O'Donnell again in Side Street at MGM. However, Hughes caught wind of this and, eager to outmaneuver Sherry, decided to release They Live by Night in the USA in November 1949, just a few weeks before Side Street hit theaters nationwide. This strategic move added yet another layer of intrigue to the film's history, as it finally found its place in the cinematic pantheon. In the world of cinema, stories of perseverance and unexpected turns often yield the most fascinating narratives. They Live by Night may have initially struggled, but its journey from financial despair to cult classic status is a testament to the resilience and enduring allure of the silver screen. In the end, this noir gem found its place in history, thanks to a series of intriguing twists that few could have predicted. And that, in the captivating world of Hollywood, is a tale worth remembering. In 1948, movie enthusiasts were treated to the gripping film They Live by Night, a production with a curious tale of its own. While the movie was shot in 1947, its release was postponed for two years, a delay attributed to Howard Hughes' acquisition of RKO Pictures, which was in the process of distributing the film. They Live by Night not only tested the patience of eager audiences, but also surprised them with an unconventional prologue preceding the opening credits. This prelude featured the enchanting duo of Farley Granger and Kathy O'Donnell, complete with subtitles, offering viewers a romantic glimpse into the lives of the film's protagonists. The movie's unique charm extended to its very first scene. The opening shot, a mesmerizing helicopter sequence, marked a significant milestone in the career of director Nicholas Ray. It was his directorial debut, setting the stage for a remarkable career in filmmaking. 
They Live by Night remains an iconic piece of cinematic history, not just for its compelling narrative, but also for the intriguing circumstances surrounding its production and release. As audiences were transported into a world of crime and passion, little did they know the real-life drama that unfolded behind the scenes. This cinematic gem continues to captivate audiences even today, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling in the world of film. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the enigmatic realms of They Live by Night, I encourage you to pause and reflect. This cinematic masterpiece, born in the vivid landscape of 1948, has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of film history. As you've traversed the narrative, perhaps you've found a piece of your own story intertwined with that of Bowie and Kichi. Their tumultuous journey, an odyssey of love and defiance, might have stirred emotions deep within you. Did it remind you of your own quests for freedom, love, or a place in the world? This film, crafted with a delicate touch and a profound understanding of the human spirit, invites us all to ponder the essence of our existence, the choices we make, and the bonds we forge. It is a timeless mirror reflecting the struggles and aspirations of the human soul, transcending the confines of its era. Now, I invite you to share your thoughts, your cherished moments, and your personal connections with They Live by Night. Your memories are the threads that weave the fabric of its enduring legacy. Let your voice resonate in the chorus of those who have been touched by this cinematic gem. Thank you for sharing this cinematic journey with me, and for letting They Live by Night be a part of your story. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. With cinematic nostalgia and heartfelt gratitude, 